Welcome to Chibizo Math Physics. I want to welcome you to this linear algebra 2 and uh, this is uh, uh, Fangaza University and uh, we'll be dealing with uh, this uh, linear algebra which is a bit advanced in the first uh, if you uh, consider the first uh, linear algebra that we talked about. Uh, linear algebra is central to put pure mathematics and applied math. Uh, for instance, we talk about the abstract algebra that arises uh, by relaxing the axioms of a vector space, uh, leading uh, to a kind of number of generalizations. Uh, we also talk about functional analysis studies uh, and the infinite dimensional version of the theory of vector spaces. And that's why in today's qu uh, video we've been presented uh, with questions uh, that uh, ask us to consider a linear operator uh, that is in two dimensions that is r2 and have some basis s so our target is to find a matrix rep representation of this uh, g with this basis c the g is an operator in two dimension and uh, we are given the relative to s it must be in relative to s uh, so you can pause the video if you know how to figure it out otherwise you follow through and see how we we do this and uh, solve it systematically. I remain your friend Augustine Galagash and if you are joining us click on the subscribe button so that uh, you'll be notified as we upload our subsequent videos. Let's dive into it. So this is our question here we are having uh, g of x is given by x y uh, and uh, it is uh, into 2x minus 7y then we have 4x plus 3y and uh, it is uh, into some s which is u1 u2 and we have 1 3 these are the bases so let's see where exactly are we supposed to start uh, since we already have the question so let's have uh, uh, let's have the solutions so let's take the solutions to this. Let's take our pen. So here we have um, G. We have two bases G. Let's take the smaller pen. G, this is too big. Can take that. Get rid of this. So we have G, uh, and G is given by two bases, which is one and three. One and three. So we have the bases like uh, we we see here. Here is the basis. We have a basis here. This is the basis. The basis is uh, one and three, and then we have two and five, two and five. So we can keep this here so that we have them down. Uh, we've got G into here. We've got G to be one and three as it is here uh, so what we need to do here is multiply this by whatever we have in this place let's see here we've got uh, two and three so let's multiply this together so two multiply by one here we give us two and then we have uh, uh, negative 7 multiplied by 3 will give us uh, negative 21 negative 2 1 negative 2 1 then uh, that will take us to uh, we have 1 multiplied by 4 will give us uh, 4 and this will be 4 plus 9 because we know that uh, 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 here will give us 9. So now that uh, we have this, this will be equal to 2 minus 21 is simply negative 19. 
negative 19 and then uh, 4 plus 9 is 13 13 so this is what we have so now we can solve this as a system of equation uh, it is simply negative 19 13 and this is equals to we introduce some a as a, a vector uh, and now we want to solve for those bases 1 and 3 and 2 and 5 1 and 3 so plus b which is 2 5 b which is 2 5 solving this as a system of the equation we can use elimination method uh, to use elimination method uh, we can um, uh, let's say that uh, here we have a uh, this is simply a uh, plus 2b 2b and this is equals to negative 19 here we have 3a 3a plus 5b because we have 5 5b and this will be equal to 13 this is equal to 13 uh, now we want to solve as a system of equation we can use um, uh, elimination so let's multiply this by 3 so that we have 3 minus 3 here and uh, that will give us uh, actually 0 so what we'll have here will be let's get rid of that um, uh, we are trying to use elimination sorry about that elimination you multiply this this become 3 3 by this and 3 times 2 will be 6 so that uh, we'll have 3 minus 3 will go and then we have uh, 6 my uh, this is 6 um, minus 5 this will simply remain b and b is simply equal to negative uh, we have uh, this becomes 3 times negative 19 uh, will be negative 57 minus 13 you have negative 70 negative 70 so that is what we have so now this is b we solve for a replacing this uh, in equation 1 remember in equation 1 we have a plus 2b is equals to 19 so a will simply be equals to negative 19 uh, negative 19 minus 2b but our b is simply negative 70 and uh, this will be equal to equal to 13 we have 13 so it is going to be 140 if you take this to the other side you have 140 and it is 140 minus 19 that will give you 121 so 121 is our value for a and our value for b is negative 70 so now let us see what will be the value for g when we represent it in the form of 2 and 5 because remember what we are we are solving here is g in terms of uh, uh, the base uh, 1 and 3 so g in terms of 2 and 5 g in terms of 2 and 5 let's see how to do that so g here will be 2 5 2 5 so that uh, following the step we did last time we have 2 so it is simply 2 by 2 2 multiplied by 2 and then we have uh, negative 7 multiplied by 5 so also here we will get uh, 4 multiplied by 2 then we have uh, this is plus 3 multiplied by 5 so if we multiply these two things, uh, 2 by 2, we know it is 4, 4 minus 7 times uh, 5, here we we'll get uh, negative 31, uh, 4 multiplied by 2 will give us 8, plus 3 multiplied by 5, which is 15, 
here we get 23 so it is 23 this is what we have in B so that uh, now we have uh, negative 31 uh, 23 as our base as our base and we can introduce some vector C uh, into 1 3 which is our basis uh, plus D into some the basis was 5 2 and 5 2 and 5 solving this as a system of equation we will simply have um, the same thing we did uh, last time because uh, this is actually C uh, plus 2D 2D and this is equals to negative 31 uh, here we have uh, uh, this is 3C because here this is 3 so we have 3C plus 5D 5D and this will be equals to 23 23 so we want to solve it as a system of equation using elimination we can also do what we did last time multiply by 3 so that here when you multiply this by 3 minus 3 uh, 3 minus 3 here we will have 0 so we have 2 uh, 2 minus um, uh, but you know this becomes 6 so 6 minus 5 we are left with D we are left with D when you times this that will be negative 93 uh, minus 23 negative 93 minus 23 so that uh, what you will have here will be D is equals to 1 negative 1 1 6 using uh, elimination method you have negative 1 1 6 so now that we have the value for D uh, we can as well find uh, the value for C we simply need to substitute this in one of the equation if we do that we know that let's take the first equation for instance we will have C will be equals to negative 31 uh, minus 2D our D now is uh, 116 our D is 116 minus what we have here uh, we know that it is negative 31 minus 2 into 116 which will give us um, 2 into 116 2 into 116 minus 31 this is 31 uh, this is equal to 232 minus 31 and this will give you 201 201 so therefore uh, our value for this basis uh, remember that uh, in this question we are to represent this in the form of uh, we've got uh, u1 and u2 u1 and u2 so we have to represent this in this format if we do that you will simply have you will simply have uh, negative 19 that we got initially negative 19 let's clear this we have uh, negative 1 9 and we have 13 this is uh, what we got initially this will be equals to 121 u1 minus 70 u2 u2 and in the case of 1 negative 31 and 23 negative 31 and 23 we've got 201 and this can be u1 minus 116 u2 uh, so that our g uh, now we put it in the form of basis g of s will be given by now we have 121 uh, negative 70 we have uh, 201 and then negative 116 and this is how what we are expected to do in this first question uh, you can go systematically and see if you can be able to grab the concept but you need to know uh, the first step towards solving this problem i remain your friend kalagash see you in our next video
we continue with question number two.